I'm going to tell you something. I, uh, I met with the family extensively on the 27th and then for a short time on the, the 19th when I went out there. And their story has been consistent um, on what they told me. Now, I'm going to say this. There's this 16-year-old kid, Angel, is getting slammed all over social media, okay? And because the family's Hispanic, they're getting a lot of threats and a lot of comments. And when I see them on my social media reference to this, I completely delete it. It's a, it's a, it's a disgrace. But as far as what they told me, and Angel's getting hammered, like I said, on social media, but people have to remember Three people saw this. Angel, his brother, I think, is a year younger than him, and his father. Angel called 911. The father got on 911 and said the same thing. I saw the creatures about 15, 20 minutes ago. And like I said, I, I'm an experienced investigator full of 40 years of investigative experience, and I did everything I could to see if I get Angel upset to the point where you say, you know, this is this is all made up. But three family members saw this. And I want to say something briefly. I know we're, we're short on time here. But when I was out at the residence on the 27th, and they were showing me where these things were, where they believe they saw them, and I was standing against a metal pole that was holding up like a carport, and the father, and I'm just a little over six feet, about six feet, six feet one, and he said, that pole you're standing next to, it was taller than that pole. Now, I'm about six one. I looked up, that pole was about eight and a half feet, and Angel said, yeah, it was even taller than that. Now, they, they described what they described, and I tell people, I was not there that night, neither were you. I have nothing to discount what this family said. I mean, it's a nice family. They could have thrown me off the property. Uh, they're, they're a very nice family. And, um, you know, to the point as being is this, okay? You have three people that said they saw a strange creature, and, and they described it. And people want evidence of that. Well, we don't have any evidence. He, he On that video that he showed on his YouTube channel, a lot of people are blowing things up. Even the Baltimore Post Examiner um, blew up the picture. They were the first ones to show the uh, the photo of the impression. On May 27th, mm -hmm. an angel took that night when he said the police were in the backyard at 137. Baltimore Post Examiner published the photograph. And then when I went back later on, angel gave me the photograph of, of the two sergeants from the Northwest Area Command of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, who we said was about midnight on May 6th, who came back and talked to the father because allegedly what he told me is the cop said the first two officers didn't do something right. Okay. When I first met the family, it was on May 19th. And it was hard that day because they didn't trust me. That's when you saw that video clip that you just showed where he's talking to the female. He originally told me it was a journalist. Now, I didn't think okay. it was a journalist, Ashley, because he he got, it was a speed dial. And I, journalists I, wouldn't pick up the phone. He, he it, told he me. He wouldn't tell you who it said, was, right? Doug, he didn't tell you who it was, was on the a, phone? Excuse me? Did he tell you who it was on the phone eventually? Yes, it was the female detective who came out to, with the family. There was a male and female after this incident, like days later, who came out and, and talked to them. After the first two officers were out there the morning of May 1st, the two patrol, and you all saw the video on that, the body cam video and all that, mm -hmm. okay? The mother told me when I was there on May 19th that after the first two officers came up, a couple days later, two more cops came. And I believe she's talking about the LVMPD sergeants that I posted the picture on. Okay, from the uh, let me get to that, because I only have about 30 seconds left, but I need you to tell me about the photograph you took of what looked like uh, cameras installed on the roof of the home, and, and those came, what, two weeks after the incident, and then suddenly were, were gone a few days later. Is that the right story? And again, I'm, I'm a bit tight for time. It was they were, they were installed on May 19th in a lamppost in the rear yard of the family's home. They were installed by the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department Home and Security Division that's run by Assistant Sheriff Sasha Larkin. The, the cameras were there when I saw them on May 19th, and they were pulled out three days before May 27th when I went back. And I have that confirmed from the family, and my police sources said those were definitely installed by the technical and surveillance squad that works for home and security on the direct, under the direction of Assistant Sheriff Sasha Larkin, and they pulled them. Now, I want to say something real quick. I know we're short on time here, okay? Mm -hmm. They pulled those They pulled those around May, uh, three days before May 27th. That was this, the second podcast that I aired when I exposed those cameras, okay? Now, there's talk. The, the parents, I said, why did they put them in there? They said, they came to the house and said, we got permission from the owner. We want to put this on your property. Who can we? It's for your protection in case people come. But you got to remember something, okay? This thing didn't go viral to June 7th. The cameras were uninstalled three days prior to May 27th. Well, that, uh, yeah, that's odd, Doug, because obviously, if it goes viral, then I can understand harassment cameras. 
But before most people even knew about this family or this young man, uh, I wouldn't imagine that you, no, no other harassment complaints get cameras like that. Doug, I have to cut it there, but um, the conversation's not over. I hope you'll come back. Yes, because there's a lot more. One, one thing real quick. Real quick. Don't, don't discount that ring camera that what was not in the neighborhood of the house. That was somewhere else on another part of town. That's also being across social media. Okay. And I, I, I cannot verify that where that location was. It definitely wasn't across the street from the home. Okay, so it was another neighborhood, and we're still on verification um, and fact-checking on that. That's right. I have no idea okay. where that was. It could have been on the other side of Vegas. He's continuing to investigate this. He's been on it since the beginning. Doug Papa, thank you for being on with us tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.